Hi, it's Jennifer McGuire for twopeasinabucket.com. Uh, this week I'm going to talk about canvas, uh, sticky back canvas from Ranger, and Claudine Helmus paints. But I'm going to be doing lots of techniques that you can use with any paints, but I'm going to show you the advantages of these. Uh, these are the cards I did today, and I'm going to show you how I combine it with stamping. First of all, let me talk about the sticky back canvas. Uh, this is a Claudine Helmuth product. It's from Ranger. This is what the package looks like. It comes in 12 by 12 sheets and 8.5 by 11. I like the 12 by 12 because you can get more out of it. And it is just really high quality canvas with a sticky back. And it's the perfect amount of stick. It doesn't, you know, you can just sticky enough to work with. I really like it. I like to put little cuts in the edge and then tear it like this. So you can see how on the top you could either cut it with your trimmer. That's how the cut edge looks. And this bottom is how the torn edge looks. I like the torn edge because it makes it look more like fabric. And here you can see that it sticks but it peels right off. And I like to work on my craft sheet for this, the Ranger craft sheet. So here's a piece and I just want to get a torn piece to the size I want. So I'm putting a little cut in it and just tearing it. And here you'll see the nice frayed edges that you get. You can fray it as much as you want. Uh, I think the more fraying, the better. But here's a, a piece of it. I just stick it right on my craft sheet to get started. Now, this is just like working with fabric, but it's just more durable. And the sticky back is a huge advantage. I like to go and fray the edges by just scratching it with my fingernail and pulling out some of the strings. I think... I think it always looks better with the frayed edge because then it looks like fabric, not just like a heavy piece of paper. Um, these are the studio paints. These are acrylic paints from Claudine Helmuth in the most amazing colors. They're very fresh and bright. Um, and the best thing about it is their lovely, creamy consistency. I mean, this is high quality art paint. And because it is extremely um, well formulated and has very it's very pigmented there's a high number of pigments in it you can mix them and get amazing colors and she's got like 51 color recipes that you can use and you can see how pa the paint is really creamy I like to put a dab with a plastic knife onto my work surface and then I can mix them up on there so here you can see I'm mixing different colors and painting them all together and working on the craft sheet makes this really easy. You can also mix water with these and they will keep their color really nice. Here's one technique I wanted to show with these paints in the canvas is stamping with tissue paper and putting it on the canvas. Here's the card. Sometimes when you stamp on fabric or canvas you don't get a full stamped image because of the texture in the um, the fabric, but this is, I'm going to show you how you can get the full stamped image. So I stamped with black archival ink, a permanent ink, on a piece of tissue paper. It's just tissue paper that I got at Target. After I heat dried that ink to make sure it's dry, I'm just going to lay it right onto the wet paint on the canvas. And I'm going to press it in with my finger. Now you can use Claudine Helmus um, multi-medium to work with this. Um, which is what I have here, or you can just use a light color of paint and you're just going to seal it onto here. Really doesn't matter how you do it. And you can see I'm just, it's starting to kind of blend in. The tissue paper kind of becomes one with the canvas. Um, you can use white for this or a little bit of white with water. You can really use anything, uh, whatever look you want to go for. And I just press it really good with my finger to work it in. And here you can see the stamped image is complete. It doesn't have the lines or the texture from the fabric. So once it's dry, you can heat it with a heat gun to dry it. I'm just tearing off the tissue paper so that it looks like canvas again. It just tears off very easily. And then what I like to do is I want to get, you can see here's the results. You can see how nice and um, it looks on there. And it looks like that stamped image was part of the fabric. Now I like that frayed edge, so if you spritz it with water and just scratch it with your fingernail, you can get the tissue paper off the frayed edge so it looks nice and frayed. It's really easy to do. But again, you want to stamp on tissue paper with black archival um, ink from Ranger or any kind of permanent ink and make sure it's heat set first. And here I went back in and I did some coloring with some markers and added some gems. So you can see how you can get a complete image with the tissue paper. Now I wanted to show you water coloring. Um, with these paints. They're great paints to use with water and here is um, the image that I'm going to do. First I cut a piece of um, sticky back canvas, actually I tore it to the right, uh, right size. I'm going to use that same archival permanent black ink from Ranger and I'm going to stamp up, stamp this onto the sticky back canvas and I want to put pretty good pressure to try to get as much onto the canvas as possible to get a complete image. Now you'll see how 
the stamping picks up the texture of the canvas, unlike the tissue paper technique we just did. So it just gives you different results, whatever you um, look you want to go for. Now one of the best things about these paints is how you can mix them to get great colors. Now I've got this really bright yellow and this baby blue color, it's sky blue and dab of yellow. When you mix them together you get this awesome lettuce green color. It's just beautiful. It's like a parakeet color from Basil. And it's just beautiful. That's one of the great things about these paints is they're highly pigmented so you can mix them to make lovely, lovely color combinations. Now if you um, want to do watercolor or do like a light wash, you just put a dab of it onto your craft sheet and spritz it really good with water. You want a lot of water here and just do a wash over the entire piece. So I want the sky to be blue here and I'm going to show you in a minute how you can actually make this even lighter when you're done. Now I'm taking this, that's the Mini Mister from Ranger and it's just um, giving me a good amount of water to spray into this paint to mix it. Now I'm taking a damp wa um, washcloth or uh, paper towel here and just wiping it off really good so that it's even lighter in the background. Now I'm using that green I mixed on the bottom here and just putting it on with lots of water and then I'm going to zap it with a heat gun so that it dries and I like how it starts to bleed with the uh, paint that's already there because I'm using a lot of water here. Really easy to do. And I like that if you put on too much paint you can kind of wipe it off with a wet, um, a wet rag which makes it easier to work with. So here I'm going in and I'm just going to color all of the stamped image with some of the paint mixed with water. Easy to do. And if you get too much paint pulled up, you can just go dab it with a paper towel or with a rag. I like to use old t-shirts and just keep washing them. So you can see how it just works like watercolor. And they come in beautiful colors. Now I use my white Ink Essentials pen from Ranger to add some highlighting onto those butterflies. Makes it really simple. Now I wanted to do some stamping with these paints. Um, these paints are really creamy and were great for stamping. You don't, when you open it up, you don't get that separated goo on the top like you do with many acrylic paints. So you don't even have to shake these. They just are really high quality. I can't say enough about them. So um, I just use this this big brush. This is from Claudine Helmuth's line too. They're excellent paint brushes. Really high quality and very inexpensive which I like about them. And There's a few different types in, um, in the pack. But you're just going to paint it on just a thin layer. It doesn't have to be perfect onto the stamp and then just press it down and it gives you a really nice look here. Now if you I'd like to heat it with a heat gun in those spots where there's like globs of paint those bother me for some reason so what I do is as I'm heating it I just go with a paper towel and just dab some of those clumps of paint off but you can just leave them to dry there if you want to too really doesn't make a bit of difference now again about the color mixing uh, you can go to Claudine Helmuth's website and she's got recipes for 51 different colors that you can make and they're all very different so even though she doesn't I think there's only 15 paint colors in the line there's a lot of things you can do with them so here's a close-up of that. Now I wanted to show you that you can also ink up this, the edges of these painted sticky back canvas with your distress inks, which is really fun to do because it draws attention, adds color to the frayed edge, which is really fun. Now I wanted to show you how I make a card front from the sticky back canvas. I just put glue on a card and lay it right in the center of the back of the sticky back canvas. And there you go. Now the whole card front is the sticky back canvas. Now I get a lot of questions about adding ribbon to a card. This is my trick for putting ribbon around a card without it shifting or falling off. I poke a hole in the front and I weave a ribbon through the front and through the back. So it's like this. It's like looped around that one side and there's two ends hanging out like on the um, right side here. Now I take these ends and I just pull them into the front and tie them into a bow. That way the bow stays stays put, it doesn't shift, and it's nice and positioned. Easy to do. And then I can just add any embellishments there, but that that ribbon isn't going to shift. So you can see here I added just a little bit of twill and a Maya Road flower to the center. Very easy. Thanks for watching another video and be sure to stop back this week for more ideas for Sticky Back Canvas and Claudine Helmus studio, uh, studio Paints.